What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you guys are doing great. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a business ad in Photopea. And it's super easy, so just follow along and you're going to have no problems doing this. Alright, first things first, we got to start a new project, so go up to File, New. The dimensions are going to be 600 by 300 and you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it add and hit create. Now we're ready to start working on our ad. Okay. So for this tutorial, we're going to have to come up with some kind of like, what ad am I going to go with? I'm going to go with a house ad. So say it's like real estate. So I'm going to find a picture of a house. You can find whatever picture you want. I'm going to right click on it, copy it, bring it back and control V or command V if you're on Mac to paste it and if you need to adjust the size of it go up to edit and hit free transform hold shift to keep it the same size and you can just adjust it however you'd like hit that check mark and you're good to go now ready to start working on the ad okay so first we need a color scheme so i'm going to go with blue and gray simple colors they look nice so that's what i'm going to do now we're going to make a rectangle so go to the rectangle tool down here Make sure the fill is the right color you want. I'm going to turn it to like a lighter blue like this. I'm going to draw the rectangle to about here. Looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it. Change the blend mode to multiply and turn the opacity down a bit on it. All right. So we're going to make another rectangle now. So it's the same process, but this time we're going to change the fill to uh, gray like this but make sure you're not selected on that layer draw it like this across the bottom and now you change the color it's gonna look something like this now we're gonna change the opacity a little bit turn it down we're gonna add a color overlay and change the color to like a black Make sure the opacity is 100 and change the blend mode to multiply if it's not already. And in the blending options, make sure the opacity is turned down to like 67. And that looks like this. What we're going to do now is we're going to type in the website link here. So if you have a website for your company, www.cambithomes.com, um, right? Oops. We're just going to make it bigger. So control A to select all of it. Use this little scroll thing up here to make it bigger. Now it's a little too big, but let's change the font to something else. To so find a font you want to use, I'm just going to find one real quick. Um, make sure it's like easy to read. You don't want something that's hard to read for an ad because obviously you want people to go to your website or whatever. So make it easy to read like the uh, actually I don't like that one it's hard to find a font that I like I'm kind of picky when it comes to fonts but I think I'll just go with this one yeah I'll go with this one uh, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit make it like that big line it up down here double click on it go to color overlay change the color to white for the text and make sure the blend mode is just normal like this and here you can have your little slogan in here so you can use your text tool to be like we buy houses something like this you know you get the idea but you could have your slogan here I would make sure they line up right above each other so it looks nice something like this but I think that looks pretty good now what we could do is we could we could just click on our background layer go to image adjustments brightness and contrast so you can adjust the background make it look nicer image adjustments vibrance turn it up a bit so it looks like this 
But that's how you do it, guys. I hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.